Vous s'abonner à ma chaîne de groupe de TV. TV. Vous vous abonner. N'hésitez pas. Hi guys, it's your man Mayo Gino the Bundes TV. We are back again. You know, we are here with one lady, beautiful lady. Where we're gonna find out what's going on here because you know, it's a lot of problems in this world. We see one woman, she's a kicking his man outside. So now I made one lady, beautiful lady, but she's married. Be careful, don't touch. So uh, it was just, you know, joke. So then, you have to find out, we're gonna find out what's going on. She's gonna explain to you guys and listen to her. Check it out, man. So, hi lady. Hey, how are you? I'm how... doing well. Okay, then we are right here. We're gonna ask you some questions about the situation that's happened with the Oya brother. What do you think about that? How you can say, explain to women? Just let us know, sister. Well, before I start, let me start saying that I am also a woman living here in Europe for quite a long time. And you guys, I am also married and that's why I thought I can advise you just a little. Of course, I know when we come here in Europe, staying with our husband, we need to make sure that we try to be humble to our husband, likewise our husband supposed to be loving us. So nowadays I just realized that so many women, they decided to start treating their husband in a mysterious way. And you guys, I don't want to say anything like it's supposed not to be like this or like that, but let us go in a correct way how a woman is supposed to be treating the husband. Why I'm bringing this to you guys because I know that we all have to start somewhere to learn. And if you don't want to learn, then you will never know what it ought to be. So i show you something, what usually helps me in life. Because I don't want things from other sources, but I go to the right source where I get the right help. When I say that getting the right help, it means that I get the right help from the Bible. I know it might sound somehow, because some people might say that Bible, it's, it's a very old book, is that something that somebody have to talk now? Yes, Bible is the best because it has lots and lots of wise advice for us. Now listen, let me just share something with you, you women, because if you really want your family, if you really want your house to be in peace, please take this as a small advice, not from me, but from this Bible passage that I'm going to read to you. It is being taken from Ephesians 5, Verse 22, it says that let wives be in subjection to their husband as to the Lord because a husband is a head of his family or a husband is a head of his wife just as the Christ is a head of the congregation. So wife or ladies, what do we take here in this Bible scripture? We see that when the Bible advises us to be in subjection to our husband because the husband is supposed to be a dominant over the wife, 
because the husband supposed to be the one who controls the family. That does not mean that the, the family have all the same. That we as wives, we have to respect our husband. So it is not something that you, before your husband say a word, you have already said 20 words. Then you means you are not even respecting your husband at all. And it means that you are not even fit to be a wife. How can your husband love your wife when you are so dominant? So we don't want to um, um, try to see like we fight with our husband at home. We involve our children in it. The, um, um, before our husband even say something, we, we have scattered up the whole house. We make, um, um, make him to, to be belittled to us. And when you are doing things like this, your whole house is on fire. I don't think that is what we want. And before the Bible even advises us that we should be in subjection to our husbands because the true God himself knows why. Who are us to, to even to, to ask questions why? We cannot ask such questions. So we just need to make sure that we love our husband and we be in subjection to them. Let me also, because it's not only wife I want to talk about today. Let us make it to be like family circle because it also affects husband. When wife is showing this loving consent to, hus to husband, what does husband supposed to do in return? Because wives are so weak. Wives, they, they, they love men that take care of them. So you husband also have to do something. And that is where it comes in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25. Husband, please listen. It says, husband, continue loving your wives just as Christ also loved the congregation and gave himself up for it. So you husband, if you don't love your wife, Tell me, how is a wife going to respect you? How is a wife going to look look up to you? So you have to also take the initiative that as a family head, you also have to show that love to her. So please, brothers and sisters, friends, mothers, fathers, wherever this message is going to, it is something for all of us. I just want to let you guys know that fighting is not a solution in a family. Making problems is not a solution to family. But what we want to know is, we want to be that kind of a person. If we make problems, let us be willing to say, I'm sorry. Have you ever told your husband, honey, I'm sorry of what is going on? Have you ever realized that even if he is the one making that problem, still, because you want peace to reign in your house, you can still go in and tell your husband that, I'm so sorry, I don't really know what is happening. And for you to bring out this, this, kind of, this kind of things from your mouth, you will see how you are making peace in your own family. You will see how your husband will even love you more because your husband can even tell you that, honey, I'm so sorry you are not even the cause, I'm the one. But because you started already to say sorry, that is how things work. We know that we cannot ever compare ourselves with our husband, wives, because we are so soft. So let us be willing to apply this short Bible principles. There are so many. I just choose two for husband and wife. I just choose two because this is the topic for, for now and for today. Please stop fighting. That is not the solution. Please be willing to make peace in your family. Make sure that you bring your children in an up, uh, upbringing way so that everybody should be happy in the family. I think just something short like this can help you guys. Have a blessed day for now and See you next time. Thank you so much. So, hi guys. We meet again. Uh, I are you are here. She's gonna explain what uh, the P uh, PL lady said. So, I we, we're gonna know. We find out if it was good or it was bad. Then it's, it's up to I are. So, I are. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm great. So, I'm gonna ask you a question just just to explain what the first lady said. So, what do you think about that? Um, what she said was really interesting. She um, has really encouraged me because um, it's always good for us to respect our husband. It's very important because doing that, we also show that we love our husbands. Yeah, and I think she has said it all. Yeah. So you think that uh, people they will respect that? I really hope that people respect it because if if we don't respect our husband, and why do we um, get involved with him if? if we don't want to respect our husbands because respect 
goes along with love i mean there's no way you say you love somebody and you don't respect that person it's not it's not proper oh thank you very much i think you say good things with people that we love it yes thank you rr yeah. god bless you i see you next time right yeah okay take care all right bye Why should Sally Serge in my own Hello everyone, watching you from around the world. I've got some great news for you. Make sure you subscribe.